Hi. So here we are again. Um, we have a microphone now. So we're going to give that a try. Even old dogs can learn new tricks. So here we are, marching onward, some poetry for the pandemic. Welcome back to Poetry Passages. Uh, so today we have a poem by request. Um, this is a poem by uh, Patrick Lane from his collected poems. And this was requested by my friend um, Rieka Nietai. Um, she's, a, she's a wonderful uh, haiku poet from Romania. So check her out if you're into haiku. And uh, so she has, um, she has asked me to read this poem for you. And it's a wonderful poem. Um, Patrick Lane is a uh, Canadian poet. He's kind of a poet laureate of Canada, I guess you would call him. Um, and this poem from him is called Under the Sun in the Dry Desert Hills Where the Rain Never Falls in August. So, long title for a short poem, and here we go. Under the Sun in the Dry Desert Hills Where the Rain Never Falls in August. In deep sand, a beetle shoulders her way toward paradise. A sunflower wild with yellow covers her with one shadow among the grains of quartz one bruised garnet a cone of pine the beetle clamors there's nothing like her in the world almost blind i get down on my knees my bare feet have the same soles they had when i was born my mother is dead among many things I am alive still. A single drop of water falls. The beetle stops for a moment, but she does not drink from the salt. There is somewhere she has to go, and she goes on mightily. I like that mightily at the end. Um, some other poets might have put this adverb in front of go or she goes mightily or mightily she goes but the way it kind of hangs there at the end she goes mightily kind of yeah this is a this is a beetle with a purpose yes as we should all have so patrick lane collected poems and thank you for watching poetry passages and we'll march on and see you next time bye